there's a clear difference, I think, between the American approach and a British approach in dealing with a calamity in financial regulation. And in the United States, we have a, a history of tinkering around the edges. We add additional agencies when a crisis comes. Now, in, in Britain, they're op more open-minded about fundamentally reorganizing an entity when, it is, when it's failed. Uh, people lose their heads there. Uh, they'll even disband the agency altogether and, and start afresh. We have heard time and time again about the over-lawyering, the bureaucratic delays, the investigative ineptitude. We heard that from Markopoulos here at the SEC. The fact that it took the agency 16 years to uncover the, the Madoff Ponzi scheme and the fact that had the financial tide not gone out, it would probably have been until his death that that was carried on, I think shocks the members of this committee. And um, the fact that the SEC had known about the Stanford Ponzi scheme since 1997. According to the SEC's Inspector General, one SEC supervisor used her work email account on virtually a daily basis to conduct business on behalf of the operator of a Ponzi scheme in Arizona. These problems did not arise from simply a lack of funding, but rather a deeper structural flaw within the SEC. So how does Congress treat an agency that has performed so poorly over the years? We reward it. The bill awaiting the President's signature vastly expands the regulatory uh, authority without re uh, reforming the troubled agency. And under the bill, the agency will promulgate 123 rules, conduct 20 32 studies established seven new offices within the SEC. This is in stark contrast, as I said, to the approach taken by the Brits. As the headline in the Financial Times recently noted, FSA to be abolished in Osborne shakeup. So, Ms. Shapiro, you, you have committed to at least begin the reformation of the SEC, and I commend you for that. We, we spoke last week about that. But time will tell whether real reform can come from within the agency or whether we would be better served taking a page out of England's playbook, and fundamentally restructuring this agency. I look forward to your testimony.